one, go! All right. So, in case you didn't already know and you somehow stumbled onto this part of the internet, this is Ocarina of Time in 3D. And uh, everything's better in 3D, so. So this is gonna be great. All right, so right off the bat, I wanna explain something. Uh, the run is gonna start really soon. Um, every input matters in this game. You cannot look away for a second. So even on the original version, text matching is pretty mundane. It's not in this version. Every single text box has a one frame window where if you hit the B button and only the B button, it'll advance the text box really fast. So I have to mash pretty much at a really high speed throughout the entire run every single time there's a, a bit of text. Um, so as soon as the Deku Tree starts talking, I, uh, I gotta go ham on that. Warm ham, apparently. <laughs> what does that mean? That's kind of gross. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, this is kind of a, a nice return to what Ocarina of Time on the N64 is, but it's gonna be, you're gonna see some differences. Uh, some, some big ones, some small ones. You'll see a lot of similarities as well. All right, so here goes the text. Something really weird about text, anything on a white background or inside of a shop you cannot get quick text on. I don't know why that is. It's really random. So you'll see that big one right there was fast. Obviously, the bigger the text box, the more important it is. Those were all pretty bad. I promise I won't talk about text the whole run, but that wasn't that great. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's gonna be happening. Also, one thing I'd like to say, uh, the months leading up to AGDQ, I've seen so many people in Twitch chats, uh, I've read some articles of people going like, Ocarina of Time 3D, wow, that, that really sucks. Why didn't they put the original Ocarina of Time in? Wow, I heard Ocarina of Time 3D is like a horrible game. Like, can you even <laughs> speed run that? And uh, I, I'm here today to show those people that, that they've been very wrong. And this, this, is, a, this is a hot speed game. Speaking of text, isn't the Japanese version actually slower for this game? I, th all right, so here's the thing. Because of how quick text works, um, languages don't really make all that big of a difference. We think that the Portuguese language is the fastest, and up next would be Spanish. Uh, and we think Japanese is actually one of the slower languages, but there hasn't been a whole lot of testing, and there doesn't really need to be, because the time saved or waste from it is so insignificant. It's more about how good you are at matching text and less about how fast the actual text is. All right, and with that, we are out. All right. Um, and we're back into another cutscene, so that's great. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in this run is we want to grab the Kokiri sword and then we are going to be off on our adventure. Uh, normally, you'd have to beat the Deku Tree to uh, get out of the first dungeon, or uh, to get out of the first area, but we, uh, we're, we're gonna make our own route here. Also, I turned off the gyroscopic controls and the uh, inverted Y axis because uh, I don't really like gyroscope. It's, it's kind of all preference. It, it wastes like a second or two, but I think I get a lot more consistency with aiming if I'm just using uh, analog controls. Shout outs to ZFG who does box movement here, but uh, rolling is way better. So uh, throughout the run, I'm going to be doing a lot of walking backwards. Uh, if you've never seen Ocarina of Time, it probably looks weird, but it's pretty fast. Um, there's a lot of situations where it's not too hot, though. Because uh, you get stuck doing something called box movement, where basically you're combining uh, side hops and back walking. And that's really only good if you have to do it for like long distances, but over a, a short distance, it's it's really not that good because you spend more time like setting up the angle for backwalking than you actually do. Okay, so this is the first glitch in the game. That angle's not gonna work. Okay. Nice, all right. Oh, I talked to him, shoot. Okay. Woo! So, for some reason, all right, w w we need to address the elephant in the room. Um, this game wasn't actually made by Nintendo. They licensed another company to develop it by the name of Grezzo. Um, we're going to be talking about Grezzo a lot because they made some very interesting choices when making this game. Um, and more often than not, they work in the speedrunner's favor, uh, which is really nice. And that was one of them right there. 
for some reason, they thought it was a really good idea for after Link swings his sword three times, if you put it away, he takes this massive step back. It's almost like he teleports. And uh, it's so fast that you can clip through corners, actors, a bunch of stuff. So that's basically what we did there. It's, uh, it's, it's so weird. I, I don't know how, how they thought that was a good idea to add in that animation. But, uh, but it works well for us. You'll see it once or twice more in this run. Uh, it's, it's only good for like acute angles, though. So anything less than 90 degrees is pretty broken with a triple slash clip. All right. It's funny, though, because Drezzo would, like, quote-unquote, patch out things like ISG, but then everything that was possible in the original game due to ISG is basically possible due to something else that they created. Yeah, so they tried to patch stuff out, and most of the time they, their patches, quote-unquote patches, actually made the game even more broken, which is kind of funny. There's, there's a really good, I, I don't remember, uh, it's not good, it's actually really bad. There's an article in like Kotaku or something where they interviewed the makers of the game and they said that they left all the glitches in on purpose, which is not true at all. Uh, see, when Nintendo was marketing this game, they, they were talking about how it was not a remake, or it was a remake, it wasn't a port. It was built from the ground up, blah, 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 blah. It's not, none of that's true. It's a complete port. They copied and pasted code, they modified some uh, small things, added some textures, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so basically, they were just like, "Oh yeah, we left the glitches in uh, to like cover their tracks to be like, we're we're so good at programming this game that everything is exactly the same, but we didn't copy paste. It's a completely new game." Okay, so right here, um, I I have to wait for it to turn day again. So the only time that what I'm doing actually matters as far as time goes is when I'm in a state where time isn't passing. So right here in the Hyrule Castle area, time is passing, so I can goof around. Um, but in Market Town right here, time isn't passing, so I want to get out of there as fast as I can. Same goes for when I'm talking to NPCs, like this cool owl here. He's a great guy. We'll see him a lot. He's actually not that great. He's really annoying. <laughs> The good thing about the owl, though, in this game is, is uh, it's kind of weird for speedruns, but on the original Ocarina of Time, if you just mash the A and B button, it would automatically select the first response. And if you select the first response, he just tells you the same thing over again. But on this game, they require you to hit the A button. And since we mash text with B, you have to physically like switch the option. And so you can't accidentally hit the wrong option, which is good. Because he asks, he asks like, are you sure that you don't not want to hear what I said again? Yeah, <laughs> it, like, I don't know. It, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, but oh, whatever. Okay, so these guards, as you can see, they're not very uh, attentive. Um, they're pretty bad at their job, except for when they're really good at their job. And uh, hopefully you won't see them. Hopefully they're slacking off today. Um, but sometimes they're not, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But these ones outside, they're really easy to avoid, especially at night. Their vision is kind of uh, obscured at night. What? Come on. I'm a box. Okay, so now this is why I need to wait for days so that I can hatch this egg and show it to Talon so that he can move out of the way. So uh, the reason I only set up one of these boxes right here is because you actually only need one of them to make it over to the loading zone. Um, and you don't actually even need to push it all the way to the edge. Um, so I'm going to be pushing it right here. And with a jump slash, should, yep, all right. That's actually a kind of precise jump slash when you only push it that much. Uh, all right, let's see how these guys go. All right, made it past the first guy. He will catch you and like, for no reason. It's really dumb. There's like pretty much nothing you can do to avoid him. Okay, this guy is playing a dangerous game with me. All right, I'm going for it. Be a man. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. All right, move. Come on, come on. All right, all right, that's fine. Nice. <laughs> that's fine. That was actually pretty fast. That last guy, 